Julie, what's up? Broken Crayon from TikTok. How you been? Uh, I remember the last stream was a pretty funny one. It was like all about stairs and sex stuff, which is always, always entertaining. Uh, <laughs> So I'm glad I'm glad you're back in the uh, in the dream request section of my website. Um, thank you for coming back. Thank you for allowing me uh, to kind of continue this sort of relationship with you and and figure out how to uh, how to help. So uh, you know how it goes. I'm gonna jump into it. Let's talk about it and figure out what's going on in that mind of yours. All right. Hello, Jesse. First, thank you very much for your last interpretation. You're welcome. Certainly had me thinking about what was going on when I was having a cluster of those stare dreams. You know what I'm saying. Uh, now, for last night's dream. Okay, here we go. I was standing on a second floor wood deck of a home. Do not recognize the home or location of the home. Overlooking a large, beautiful green lawn. Several deer walked and ran through the yard, some in pairs, a few individually. One pair seemed to stop and kiss. I walked to the edge of the house, looked around to the front, and noticed the sun was reddish-orange and the air was smoky. I slid down a covered green plastic slide to get to the ground. No stairs, winky face. Like the slides that usually come in a child's backyard playset, I walked around to the front of the house to see the park that was across the street from my childhood home. The back corner of the park was on fire. Lots of flames and smoke. I noticed no one was doing anything, walking around as if they didn't see or smell the fire, so I called 911. Interesting to note, the fire was actually blocking the road that an ex-boyfriend lived on. We reconnected about 12 years ago and are now no contact as of last year. The dream ended with me standing back on the deck. I don't know how I got back on the deck, as there were no stairs and I never went into the house. Thank you, Jesse, for all you do and making yourself available for all of us and our weird dreams. Oh, thank you. I'm glad it's what I love to do. So thanks for, you know, staying here, supporting me, following my content. I really, I really do appreciate it. It's all of you guys that make this happen. So, uh, but what does it mean? Okay, let's talk about it. So um, the, the, the back lawn, let's see, hold on, let me, let me find this part. Second floor, let's start there. You're on the second floor. Second floor, always a symbol for conscious, right? Your logical, executive functioning. Think about it, second floor, ground floor. Emotions, heart, second floor, thoughts, logic. So you're, you're talking from your logical side. As you stand in your logical side, you look out and it's a large, beautiful green lawn. It's beautiful. It's a, it's a symbol for peace, uh, well-maintained. It's like, think of like the Garden of Eden, you know, it's, it's been, it's been tamed. It's been cared for, you know, it's safe as evidenced by the deer walking through it. And so that's a symbol for, for peace, fertility, tranquility, all these very, very good things. Um, and so, you know, the, the deer, some are in by themselves, some are together, they kiss, all good stuff, good stuff. It's symbol for peace, symbol for prosperity. But then you walk to the edge of the house, look around to the front and notice that the sun was a reddish orange. Ah, here's, here's the rub. Uh, then you slide down a plastic slide. I know you made the winky face about it not being stairs, but actually Freud also said that slides were also sex dreams too. So this could have sexual meaning, but what I think it probably means, I don't just want to interpret everything you send me as sex, um, but what it probably more likely means because of the connection inside the dream is that you're descending in a childlike way down to your feelings, your unconscious mind. This is your dreaming mind, remember? Because you went from upstairs to downstairs and you did it on like a child's slide, right? And so you're connecting with these more childlike emotions. And when you do, you see your childhood playground across the street. So we're talking a lot about childhood stuff, your childhood mind, the way that you developed, you know, innocence, uh, genuine joy and happiness, those kind of things. But the back part of the playground is on fire. Now, this is not a bad thing. Uh, fire is actually just a symbol for, it could be anger, but most likely it's passion. Passion, heat, uh, drive, motivation. Remember, fire is a good thing. It's, you know, if you think about like Greek mythology, it's it's the gift from the gods down to man. It was stolen, you know, to give uh, the power of the gods to mankind. And it's what allowed them to rise above the animals because they had fire. So fire is a good, a good symbol. Um, now, sometimes it can consume you, like being consumed with rage and you burn in a fire, right? But that's not what's happening in your dream. You're noticing that your childhood playground is on fire. And what this means specifically for you is that there is untapped potential, passion, energy, drive 
inside some part of your childhood. There's a part of yourself that you're connecting with that is going to motivate you, that's going to give you the drive and the energy to do the things that you want to do. And it sounds like it's blocking you from this ex-boyfriend. Now, I don't know if that's a good relationship for you or a bad one. You know, I'm not a mind reader here, but it sounds like when you connect with your passion, it's blocking you from this relationship. So it makes me think it might not be a good relationship for you to be in. And it sounds like you're in no contact with it now. So maybe you already know that to be true. Um, what's interesting though is the, you know, the smoke kind of rises up. It sort of clouds the sun. And so what's interesting about this motivation is that it can be seen from far off. Other people maybe seeing it, you may be noticing it by its smell, by its smoke. Um, but the other parts of you, these people that are walking around don't notice it, right? And so, um, the rest of your life is kind of going on. There's this tranquility around, but the tranquility, your peace will not be and is not, um, disrupted by your passions. You'll be able to maintain your peace while being passionate and driven. And so I, I hope that you allow that into your life and accept that uh, and have it come in. So um, that's really what what vibes I'm sort of getting from this dream. I hope that gives you some good feelings. Um, I also want to just, just tag on the end here. When you're thinking about this motivation and developing this part of yourself, um, don't be afraid that it may be anger that's motivating you because fire can also be an anger symbol. So there may be some anger, there may be some pain in your childhood that you're connecting with and that pain will motivate you and it will sort of sort of burn away that back darker half of uh, of the childhood memories. So don't be afraid if it's the pain. In fact, anger is a wonderful motivator. It it, it encourages us to keep ourselves safe and to keep ourselves motivated to protect ourselves. Anger is a protecting emotion, so that's a good thing too. If you wanna go deeper into it, you're always welcome to schedule a coaching session or you know submit more dream requests, whatever you wanna do, but uh, I do live coaching and stuff, and if you wanna kinda of talk about childhood things and kinda of where that's trying to lead you, happy to do that for you, but either way, no, no, no pressure to do that at all, just offering it as an option. Um, Julie, thanks for, thanks for being here, Broken Crayon. I'll see you more on TikTok. Uh, if I can be of any other help, just let me know. Here for you. Thanks for sharing your dreams. And until I see you again, peace.